Welcome to your Beaufort County News Headlines. I'm Matt Golden and here are today's top stories. Residents from areas devastated by Hurricane Helene have temporarily relocated to stay with relatives and friends while their hometowns are undergoing cleanup. In support of these individuals during their time in Beaufort County, the Beaufort County Library is pleased to offer a temporary waiver of the non-resident card fee, which is usually $40, for those residing in Beaufort County while their communities recover. Non-Beaufort County residents to which this situation applies are asked to provide an ID and current address from their home state, provide the address of their temporary Beaufort County residence, which is, could be an Airbnb, a hotel, a, res a relative's house, or other. Only residents of areas affected by Hurricane Helene are eligible. These areas include Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Tennessee. This card would be valid for one year and would give them access to our library resources during their stay in Beaufort County. All across the Low Country communities are coming together to help those impacted by Hurricane Helene. A major historic feature on Hilton Head will be preserved for generations thanks to a land purchase orchestrated through Beaufort County's Green Space Committee. The purchase of 26 acres on the island's north end is part of an effort to preserve Mitchellville, the country's first self-governed town of freedmen and refugees escaping slaves. The piece of undeveloped land is located across the street from the Mitchellville Freedom Park and was purchased through Beaufort County's Green Space Program, a tax-funded initiative meant to preserve open space, protect critical and natural resources, and provide land for recreation. Town officials and council members immediately expressed an interest in purchasing the land when they learned it was on the market earlier this year, Hilton Head Island Mayor Alan Perry said, The first Freedom Village in the country is there, and that's a very important aspect, Perry said. That whole area is a native islander community. It's a very sensitive area, and we want to make sure it's protected. While the town is dedicated to purchasing the property, the final cost of the land is still being appraised. The purchase will likely be between $10 million and $11.75 million. Beaufort County Council and Beaufort County Board of Voter Registration and Elections are hosting two joint public hearings for the 2024 sales tax referendum. The public hearings will be held Tuesday, October 15th at 5 p.m. at Buckwalter Recreation Center at 905 Buckwalter Parkway in Bluffton and Wednesday, October 16th at 5 p.m. at the Council Chambers in the Administration Building at 100 Rebo Road in Beaufort. Assistant County Administrator Infrastructure Jared Freilux will be present at both public hearings to provide additional information and answer questions. County Registration and Elections will conduct a referendum Tuesday, November 5th to impose a special sales and use tax in the amount of 1% in Beaufort County for not more than 10 years or until a total of $950 million in resulting revenue has been collected, whichever occurs first. For more information on any of these stories, please visit the sources on the screen. And as always, you can head to BeaufortCountySC.gov for press releases straight from Beaufort County. Thanks for tuning in to your Beaufort County News Headlines. Have a great day and a great week, Beaufort County. Weekends are for sports. BCTV has replays of your favorite Beaufort County games from high school, college, and more. Saturday and Sunday from noon to 6 p.m. Relive all the exciting moments, great endings, and wild celebrations that make you love sports. Watch Beaufort Sports Weekend replays on Saturday and Sunday from noon to 6 p.m. on Beaufort County TV. BCTV. Live. Work. Play.